um, just pride for one. Pride, guys knew that we didn't play our best starting that game. We wanted to at least finish it the right way so we can have something to build upon. You know, fans uh, on the outside wondering, is it a scheme thing or execution, effort? What, what would you say it is that needs to take a, a leap forward for the offense? I would say every level feels like they need to do more. Players, coaches alike, I feel like we all could be a lot better. And I think if you ask anyone on the staff, on this team, they will go the same thing. You know, uh, I know you, you've been a good special teams player for a long time, returning kicks. Sometimes they use Trey in the same thing. What's some of the advice you give to Trey when it comes to being a good special teams player? Oh, I mean, it's not much advice to give to Trey, man. He can't coach that type of speed. You know what I mean? Uh, I would just say own it. You know, know who you are. Be confident in it and be fearless. You know, you, you've been in the league a while. Um, what do you feel like that provides, you know, in terms of helping in the locker room and with the team after after a tough loss against Yeah, Bears? I think just morale, man. I've seen it all. I've been on really good teams. I've been on teams that didn't perform that well, you know. So I try to stay as even keel as possible. And I mean, I'm a jokester in the locker room. You know, I like to have fun. I like to make guys feel like no matter what's going on, I'm going to be the same person. And hopefully we can get a lot of people reflecting that same energy. Who, who have, uh, you know, this year, 24, who have you taken a mentorship role to, maybe the most, uh, a name or two? Uh, definitely Dylan Lowry. Um, I think it was Corey and Bennett. Um, he's an Alabama kid. I'm from Alabama, so I got a soft spot for him. Um, but definitely, you know, any rookie that comes up. You know, the good thing about this rookie class in general is they're sponges, man. They, they want to learn. They want to be good pros. They want to have long careers. So they're not shy. You know, sometimes you get young guys coming in feeling like, you know, their pride's a little bit too big. They don't want to ask questions. They don't want to really put themselves out there, you know, socially. But these young guys are they're definitely uh, hungry to be better, which is going to make this team better. Yeah, what, what have you thought of, I know Jacory pulling up now. What have you thought of his improvement? He's had some good PBUs in the first couple of weeks. Man, you know, a lot of people say improvement. He's always been his player, you know what I mean? When he, if he's playing confident, he's playing aggressive, no one's going to run past him. You know, he's one of the fastest guys on the team. So um, he's a guy who... If he plays with the confidence that you know he needs to play with every single day, he's going to be an elite player. Excellent. Amir, you played a lot of football in your day. I'm curious as to if you can pinpoint what do you think the biggest thing holding the offense back is right now? I would just say timing, execution. You know, everyone has to do that 11. I'm sure you've heard Coach PG say that. I'm sure you've heard Coach Getsy say that. Um, it's 11 guys on the field. You know, it's something that's special about the game of football. It's like it's really, really, it's really not about one player. You know, you see the media covering the quarterback a lot, and they cover a guy like Max or Devontae a lot. But it's, if everyone else isn't doing their job, you'll never hear about those guys. And those are the things that's holding us back right now. You know, it's just one guy here, another guy there. And it isn't things that um, are like selfish, you know, things. It's more so just like straining. You know, doing you know the most you can on every single rep because you never know when the ball might come back to you. You got to make that block or you got to do whatever, myself included. So, yeah. How do you guys kind of keep that focus and kind of keep that same uh, you know edge that you had going into the Panthers game uh, moving forward after a tough loss? Um, we got 14 more. We got 14 more. That was an NFC loss. You know what I'm saying? We're in the AFC conference, so everything we want is still out in front of us. We got a great opportunity in front of us with an AFC team this weekend. So I know guys will be motivated to get that taste out of their mouth, knowing that like everything that we want is still out in front of us. Is it just absence of thought? That um, a little bit of both. I uh, appreciate the question. Um, I do a lot of conscious breath work. I think um, everything starts with the breath. Everything starts with the nervous system. So if you can regulate that and get yourself in the right mind frame to take on such a quick change of pace type of game like football, then you can give yourself a little bit of a competitive edge. And then I like to visualize myself making plays. You know, then it's also a time for me just to give thanks to all the years and all the hard work and sweat that's gone into that moment. You know, I don't take any of that for granted. You know, I'm in year 10 right now, and anytime I get to lace it up and, you know, play on the grass in front of a home stadium or any stadium at that with my teammates, I'm forever grateful for it. So it's also an opportunity for me to thank God. For your career, it's not just been one. 